Hello, ladies, gentlemen, non-binaries, and everybody else under the rainbow of our wonderful community. How are you doing today? We are back with some My Alien Roommate Part 4, where we're going to go on a little movie outing with Lucas, because we promised him. I'm not calling it a date, because we're not romancing Lucas, but he is my best friend, and we did say we'd go on this movie outing, and I totally totally didn't forget i i would i would ne i would never nev ne never not me sir it's you know you know time is a mortal concept and as a reaper i feel like it doesn't apply to me that's yeah that's what i'm gonna go with today <laughs> With that, let's jump into the game. Here they are, our lovable boys. Loading up. And we're here. I make it to the theater five minutes late. I stop for I stop for donuts or something, I know it. Like that just seems like a me thing. Lucas is standing near the concession stands, phone in hand as per usual, eyes glued to the screen. He looks up as I approach. Hey, sorry I'm late. No worries. You know it's all ads for the first 15 minutes anyway. Shall we? Lead the way. I know in the last video, my voice for Lucas was quite soft, so I might change him a little bit just so that he's like hearable, uh, but I don't know what that's gonna do to like whatever voice I gave him. But again, as we have learned, no voice is consistent except for my own. And even then that's, even that's sometimes a hit or a miss if I'm being totally honest. Oh my God. Love interest number one. Oh my God, it's a meta, it's a meta. There's gonna be like a love square, love triangle in the movie that chorus like I'm there's there's some kind of meta involved in this. <gasps> How dare you! That was a good sound effect, dang. Ow! What the hell? You were looking up my skirt! No, I wasn't! Yes, you were! Ah, uh, I really wasn't. It doesn't matter. You came close. I don't know why, but as the protagonist in this game, I feel a strong connection to the protagonist in the movie, and I'm really hoping they didn't look up their skirt. Also, I don't know any of the genders, so... It's just gonna be... Whatever voice comes out of my mouth at that point. Cut that out! Please stop hitting him! Them! Her! Ouch! You, you might want to move away from them. We went to, from spa spare me? Spare me indeed. Spare me another minute of this awful movie. Lucas seems to be enjoying it, though. I don't want him to feel bad about inviting me just because our taste in movies are different. I guess it's not all bad. The animations really are as breathtaking as he promised. Ah, there we go. Okay, okay, that's- I'm in- okay, I'm into the animations. I can deal with a lousy, uh, plotline. Story. Whatever. But that was short, okay. So, what'd you think? An hour or so later, we've stepped out of the movie, out of the theater, and back onto the streets. Lucas watches me silently, awaiting my verdict. I think it was visually stunning. But you didn't think the story was anything to write home about, did you? I didn't say that. We've been friends long enough that I can tell what's on your mind, Reaper. I can tell what's on your mind, Reaper. You can say it. I won't take offense or anything. I don't want to be one of those guys that tears something apart because of the story. I mean, isn't that why most movies bomb at the box office? 
I suppose the meat I suppose the story is the meat of the movie. I can read. It's fine. I can do this. That's what I'm saying. It's always the first and the easiest part of a movie to criticize. Because everyone thinks they can write a story, can't they? Everyone has their own ideas on which direction the plot should take or how characters should behave. They can point these things out without needing to justify their opinion with an art degree or musical talent. So I'm not judging the movie on that. The story beats didn't work for me, but objectively speaking, it wasn't bad. That was a really round roundabout way of saying you didn't like the movie. Well, I, I mean, I did think the animation was superb. Mm-hmm. Thanks for watching it with me, Reaper. I know these movies aren't your cup of tea, but I had fun all the same. Likewise, I wanna hug you. Again, Lucas is a really, really great friend. I, I stand by that. Oh, it's you. Someone taps me on the shoulder. I have no idea who it is. I turn to recognize the girl standing behind us as the one who invited me and Enoch to join her at the Lazy Lounge last night. Felix? Felix, are you nearby with your friends again? Please? Oh, hey. Fancy meeting you here. It's a small world. Is it? I mean, isn't this where we met the first time? What? Uh, no, sorry. What? No homework tonight? What are you doing at the cinema, Miss Goody Two Shoes? She regards Lucas with mild curiosity. And who's this? He's just a friend. No offense, but I'm not sure why you're so curious about who I hang out with. That's twice now you've approached me unprompted. Jeez, why the cold shoulder? I only wanted to say hello. How will you ever make new friends if you're always so prickly to people you don't know? It's getting very close to Kat, and I want it to be very distinct that I don't think I like this girl, but I love Kat. I just can't hit a voice for her. I was only curious to know what movie you were watching. It was that romantic comedy, wasn't it? I think I gotta go more Starbucks girl with her. With all due respect, I don't think it's any of your business. Wow, never seen Lucas this openly hostile to a stranger before. All right, chill. I'll see you around, I guess. She leaves without another word. Lucas raises an eyebrow at me. That was a pleasant conversation. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I missed the mark with her completely. <gasps> Week one, Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday afternoon. Oh, no, Wednesday afternoon. I'm already so sad I'm near the end. Crap! Walking into class with Enoch by my side is surreal. I can't believe I'm watching my alien roommate interact with my two human friends like it's the most normal thing in the world. Honestly, it sometimes feels like I'm sitting on a ticking time bomb, just waiting for it to go off with a revelation that Enoch's an alien. All it takes is one slip up. Enoch could sneeze and drop his human disguise right then and there and the jig would be up. Paranoia is enough to kill me. Whoa, what? I'm pulled out of my thoughts by the suddenness of Kat's exclamation. She stares at me and Lucas in turn, looking scandalized. Wait, what's going on? I wasn't listening. The two of you watched a romantic movie together? Gulp. Why didn't you tell me? And why did I have to find out about it from Reaper's roommate of all people? Enoch, why'd you tell her? Was I supposed to keep it a secret? Well, Lucas? Reaper? I didn't think you'd be interested. I'm not, but that's not the point. You gotta let me know about these things so I can tease you about it appropriately. Figures. He meets my eyes. Told you she'd react this way. Whoa, who's that? Quite a sight to the front of the classroom. Miss Fortune isn't here yet, surprisingly late herself despite her reprimand of me and Lucas the other day. Entering 
the room in her stead. Oh no, music. Oh no, the music. This is this is some alien like hunter crap. Oh, we're in trouble. We stealthily glance at Enoch. Fuck. <laughs> we're so screwed. Entering the room in her stead and moving to stand by her desk is a man I've never seen before. Tall and broad-chested with fierce green eyes and an imposing aura, he clasps his hands behind his back and surveys us with an intense gaze. The class quickly falls silent. What's he doing? He's just standing there. Menacingly. Good morning. The man suddenly speaks, startling all of us. Oh, Felix! Um, sir, where's Miss Fortune? Yes, about that. Your teacher, Miss Fortune. I regret to inform you that your teacher is not well today. I was personally chosen to take over as her substitute. You may address me as Mr. Gallagher. I still, I'm still, the music changed, but I'm still sus, Mr. Gallagher. I'm still sussed. He'll like give me a piece of candy and then I'll like, oh, no longer sus, thank you. <laughs> oh, music might have changed, but my, my thoughts on you have not, sir. Whispers fill the air as everyone mutters amongst themselves about this new development. I don't think Miss Fortune's ever missed a day of work before. That woman is unnaturally healthy. She had a fall sick eventually, right? I guess you could say Miss Fortune struck? But um. <laughs> no, bad Reaper, bad. <laughs> I love it! On the ball as always, Reaper. I don't get it. So this man is taking over for misfortune? That's the definition of a substitute teacher, you know. He looks a little intimidating. I've also kind of lost Enoch's voice, dang. True, but who knows? He could be a total dud. It's always fun messing with the substitute teachers who don't know what they're doing. Yeah, but does he look like the type to mess around with? And besides, Felix is in this class. Oh, right. Darn! I just know he'll suck all the fun out of having a substitute teacher. He will? Reaper, is this what you meant when you said Felix like sucking things? For the last time! <laughs> That's not what a suck up means. <laughs> and I live in the gutter, so every time, every time Enoch brings that up, I'm gonna laugh. Point is, as long as that annoying teacher's pet is around, there's no way we're tricking a sub into letting us listen to music in class or thinking we don't have any homework. Quiet down. What's with all the noise? The whispers quickly cease. Um, sir. What, boy? Why do you keep calling me? It's just... Miss Fortune never told me about this. And to be fair, Cat said... Cat and Reaper have both said he is a very good class president. You are sus, sir. Should she have? What are you, some sort of class representative or something? Exactly, he is, he's the class president. Don't mess with, don't, don't mess with him. I'll throw hands. Oh dear. That's the worst kind of question to ask Felix. <gasps> Look at that little smirk. Oh, oh baby. Mwah. Oh, give it to him. J go, go Felix, just, just, just. Tell him how you really feel, buddy! Even from all the way in the back of class, Felix puffing out his chest and straightening his shoulders is plain for all to see. 
Yes, sir. I'm the class president. Uh, did she not tell you? Oh. Yes, she mentioned something along those lines when we spoke. To answer your query... Query? Query. Miss Fortune is very ill. Too ill, I suppose, to let you know in person. She... She is? E even so, I should have gotten a text from her or something. Ew, Metal Mouth and Miss Fortune text? That's just sad. I think it's sweet that they contact one another. I wish I could text someone like that. You know, if I had a phone. I don't understand what's the issue, boy. She was too ill to tell you or text you. Is there a problem? No, but... Usually when something crops up, I'm the first person she tells so I can let the class know. I just thought... You thought wrong then. What are you insinuating with all these questions? Nothing, sir. I was just... I don't appreciate being badgered with unnecessary inquiries before I've even spent five minutes with the class. Is this the sort of behavior expected of a supposed class president? To question the authority of a teacher within minutes of meeting one? N no sir. Maybe I should have a word with Miss Fortune about the kind of attitude her students show their teachers in her absence. Felix deflates in a seat so fast, it's almost comical. I would feel sympathetic for him, but come on! Is this Felix we're talking about? Whoa, did you see that? I've never seen Metal Mouth get on a teacher's bad side that fast. Still, think you can mess with the guy? Maybe not. But even if he's the strictest substitute teacher in existence, he still put Felix Yang in his place. That makes him all right in my book. Right, Reaper? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? The only thing rarer than Miss Fortune not showing up to class is Metal Mouth pissing off a teacher and getting scolded for it. This is a historic day. We should throw a, we should throw a party to celebrate. Oh, I love parties. You do, do you? How many have you been to? That's what I thought. We kind of like, we couldn't go in on Enoch too. <laughs> Enoch's like, I'm gonna be a part of the group and we're like, say no more fam. <laughs> welcome to, welcome to friends. Sorry. Welcome to friends. Just when you become a true friend of just going, just getting, like, just those, those, just those poking comments of, really? Really, buddy? You sure about the, that? That's what you want to go with. Okay. Uh. Whatever just went down with Felix, as awesome as it was to witness, isn't on my mind right now. I can't shake the feeling of discomfort, discomfort that washed over me the moment Mr. Gallagher entered the room. The eyes, man. The eyes are unsettling. Something about him feels... off to me. I... I'm sorry, sir. I'll overlook this, but watch your tone when speaking to a superior. Are we clear? Yeah. <clears throat> yes, sir. Good. Now then. Mr. Gallagher soldiers on with lessons for the next two hours. It's hard enough paying attention as it is, considering the heavy mood that's settled over the class since his arrival. But it's made but it's made harder still by the fact that Mr. Gallagher appears to be, for all intents and purposes, a terrible teacher. He uses lesson materials Miss Fortune must have given him, but she was clearly addled from whatever sickness overcame her, because his lesson plans are all out of order. He tries to teach topics covered months ago, then attempts to introduce concepts way too advanced for us all. For us. All while fervently fed. That's a word I've read, but I've never said out loud. Apologies. All while consulting the textbook like he doesn't know what he's saying. Sus! Felix, no doubt, trying to 
reintegrate himself into Mr. Gallagher's good graces, tries to help every time Mr. Gallagher gets confused. I watch now as Mr. Gallagher fumes behind his desk, fists clenched at his side as Felix fiddles with Miss Fortune's laptop. What kind of infernal device is this? Why is it so hard to use? Is he an alien too? Is he not an alien hunter? Oh, wait! Didn't Enoch say that he was running away? Is this an alien he was running away from? I've connected the dots. Wholesome Wraith in the background. You haven't connected shit. I've connected them. <laughs> Not to worry, sir. You just need to search through the files by clicking this tab, and whatever you want to present will show up on PowerPoint. It's just a matter of connecting to the projector, then... Oh, blast this stupid thing. I'll simply teach the class without it. He pushes Felix aside and strides up to the whiteboard. Time for a popped quiz. He is an alien. No, it's his popped quiz. It's a pop quiz, you dumb butt. You, sir, are an alien. And you will not touch my cinnamon roll. I will protect Enoch with my life. Yeah, I would for him. Yeah, yeah, I would actually. He grabs a class attendance list. When I call your name, come to the board and answer the questions I assign you. The heck is a popped quiz? Lucas instinctively sinks lower into his seat, clearly petrified at the prospect of being called upon. Oh, baby. Okay, Felix. Oh, whew. okay, good. First, Felix. Y yes, sir. Oh, it's you. Come up to the board. Let's see. Who else? He's gonna pick me, isn't he? <laughs> Called it! <laughs> Reaper! Uh-oh. I get to my feet, hoping my legs don't look as shaky as they feel. Step up here and get ready for the quiz. I walk to the front and take the marker he offers me. Felix is there, drumming the marker against his knuckles, lost in thought. It's funny how obviously shaken up he still is from Mr. Gallagher berating him earlier. That was so out of character. Felix never questions a teacher or their decisions. Did it bother him that much that Miss Fortune didn't let him know about Mr. Gallagher taking over? Ask him about Miss Fortune. <gasps> oh! Oh, I'm gonna f I'm gonna mess this up! Ask him about misfortune, tease him about being scolded, challenge him in the quiz. I don't think I want to tease him. I can see positives and negatives to every single one, except for teasing. Ask him about misfortune. The good thing it would be like, I could show him that I'm worried, but it could also tur be turned around as in like, Reminding him that she didn't message or call him. Teasing, I, I can just see, is going to be a total negative. Challenge him in the quiz could be a plus one in the sense of, like, trying to get his mind off of the thing he's... Fo um, Mr. Gallagher and what happened at the beginning of class. But he also doesn't like being shown up. Especially by me. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna ask him about misfortune. I feel like that's the safest bet. And if it's not, I'll just come back later and, you know, challenge him in the quiz just for my own curiosity's sake. Ask him about misfortune. You're still- you're not still thinking about misfortune, are you? Mm-hmm. He blinks and stares at me, as if registering the fact that I'm standing next to him for the first time. 
You look like your cat just died. Is it that big a deal that she didn't text you? You don't wait by your phone in the hopes that she, or help anyone really, send you a text, do you? Why would I do that? Because your phone wouldn't buzz with a text otherwise. Implying I have no friends. Look at you! You worked the insult alt out all by yourself. He just rolls his eyes at me. Good one. Not much of a comeback from him today. This whole misfortune not texting him thing is getting him down more than I realized. Weirdly, I'm almost a little disappointed that Felix isn't quipping back as hard as he normally does. You really are bothered about this. Why wouldn't I be? And why is it such a big deal that I am? You worried about me or something? Yes! <laughs> Actually, I am! Yeah. A little. As if. I just think it's sad that something as minor as this is affecting you so much. I got a plus one! The only thing better than a plus one is a plus two, and I don't even know if that was possible in this choice. So, it's a plus! I'm happy. Okay, this is, this is a good night. This is good. It's none of your business, so quit pretending like it is. Turning around, I see that Kat has joined us as well. Look who decided to join us! Trust me, it wasn't my decision. Is it just us three? No sooner do the words leave my mouth than Mr. Gallagher calls upon one final person, Enoch. I once again just want to say... I play too many dating sims! Anyway. Enoch! Oh no. Hi, I'm Enoch. So you are, boy. So you are. I don't like the, I don't like the ellipses at the end there, buddy. He holds a marker out for Enoch to take. Enoch tries to, but when his fingers close around the marker and he pulls, Mr. Gallagher doesn't let go. Uh, uh, Mr. Gallagher, sir, you need to let go of the marker. Hold on, boy. I can't help but notice your name's at the bottom of this list, written in ink. Why is that, I wonder? Oh, um, it's probably because I'm a transfer student. Are you now? How... Interesting. And where was it you transferred from? The attendance list doesn't say. Um... Afar? Very afar, I'm sure. Beside me, Felix bristles with disapproval. What the hell? What kind of grammar was that? He lowers his voice so Mr. Gallagher won't overhear. Your roommate's an idiot. That much is clear. But I expect a teacher to know better. Oh, who cares, Metal Mouth? A little incorrect grammar never killed anybody. Though, judging from how often you texted me when we did that report together, you'd think it did. Don't get all pissy just because someone doesn't live up to your impossibly high standards. How is... How is basic grammar an impossibly high standard? Reaper, back me up here. I don't even really hear the two of them arguing beside me. Something about Enoch and Mr. Gallagher's exchange really unsettled me, but I can't put my finger on what it was. I'm still watching as Enoch pries the marker free from Mr. Gallagher's vice-like grip and joins us. What was that about? What, the marker? He had a very tight grip. Now then, shall we begin? Oh, will whoever answers the most questions win a prize? Er, because that'd be neat. Fine. For every question you get right, you earn a point. Whoever th has the most points will get a prize. Yay! 
Mr. Gallagher plucks a textbook from Felix's desk and flips through it until he finds what he's looking for. Perfect. I don't like that glint in his eyes. First question. Name the gland in the human... Name a gland in the human body that produces sweat in the skin. This isn't anywhere close to what Miss Fortune's been teaching this term. I contemplate protesting, but then I see Felix scribbling away furiously on his side of the board, having started writing the moment the last word left Mr. Gallagher's mouth. His ego's big enough as it is. I can't let him win. The gland that produces sweat. Aren't they just called sweat glands? I give them a second more complicated sounding name anyway. I uncap my marker and begin to write. I know this, give me options. Sweat gland, oh. I wanna say it's this one. Oh man, I'm really just gonna like tell on myself here and how much I paid attention in science class. Sweat gland, sebaceous gland, sudoriferous uh, gland. Sudori Paris gland. Peek at Felix's answer. Peek at Kat's answer. Peek at Enoch's answer. I'm very concerned about Enoch. I, I, I think it's this one, but I'm scared with what Enoch's writing. I want to say this one. I write down my answer and step back. Time's up. Let's see. He walks up to Felix first. I completely... I'm so sorry to my science teachers! <laughs> so he had the pseudoriferous gland or pseudoriparous gland. That's his answer? Why do you write down two answers? He's such a tryhard. What's this then? Felix's satisfied smile widens. <sighs> He's so full of himself. He could not look any more pleased right now. Hmm. Someone's a bit of a show-off, isn't he? Ooh! Fatality! Oh! TKO! Destruction 100! Those are great. The look of humiliation burns so bright on Felix's face that I can pinpoint the exact moment in time Mr. Gallagher ripped his heart in two. I, I, um, sorry, sir. Pride does cometh before the fall, and oh, what a fall it was! An unnecessary, as unnecessary as they were, both answers are correct. So, you get a point. I hope you weren't expecting two points for writing down two answers. No, no, sir. I was just showing off. Felix looks so discombobulated by a teacher calling him a show off to his face in front of the entire class that he can't even enjoy getting his answer right. Moving along, I am wrong. Can you just skip over me? <laughs> Damn it. He steps up to Cat now. Sweat glands, lol. Love you, Cat. Never change. Oh boy. The edges of Mr. Gallagher's mustache twitch with irritation. Think this is funny, Kathleen. She hates being called Kathleen. Oh, it's just Cat, sir. And yeah, a little. Most of the time, I'm in awe of Kat's apparent fearlessness. Other times, like right now, I worry she's just out of her mind. Sorry, I couldn't think of an answer. Very well. But what is this? What's what, sir? What is this LOL? That's not an answer. Oh, <laughs> That's an acronym, sir. It stands for laugh out loud. Mr. Gallagher looks disgusted. But 
You are not laughing out loud, are you? I mean, I am laughing a little on the inside. That is not out loud then, is it? I guess not? I'm totally losing Kat's voice. Crap, I was very proud of that last video. You test my patience, Kathleen. Sorry, sir. Ah, da -da. I don't know where it went. Cat, I'm so sorry. I don't know where it went. Oh I've just got to move on, I guess. Sorry, sir. Sir? I spend too much time with Brits. I've lost all of my American intonations. I spend way too much time with the Brits. I was just embarrassed and I didn't know the answer and wanted to poke a little fun at myself. Be that as it may, this is a popped quiz, not some sort of comedy event. I'd rather you try and fail than not try at all. Yes, sir. Mr. Gallagher walks up to me next. Hmm. I'm afraid that is incorrect. Cool! Tried! Failed! Moving along! Thank you! Just do not tell my IRL science teachers! What is that? What- what am I thinking of? I don't know. Damn. I try to block Felix's smirk from my line of sight. As deflated as he'd been after Mr. Gallagher's second admonishment of the day, seeing me fail never fails to rejuvenate him. At last, Mr. Gallagher comes to Enoch's answer. Enoch? Yes, sir. What is this? It's a drawing of me sweating, as all humans do. It's... It's hideous. I'm not an artist, sir. Then why, may I ask, did you spend your time drawing instead of writing an answer? Uh... I wasn't sure what answer to give, so... I thought this might suffice? Because even though I don't know the name of a sweat gland, I am definitely capable of sweating like a regular human being, just like everyone else. Moments like these make me wonder how Enoch hasn't given himself away yet. Strangely enough, I see something akin to triumph in Mr. Gallagher's eyes. How disappointing. He doesn't look the least bit disappointed. Does Enoch's ignorance somehow delight him? Next question. Oh, no. He rifles through Felix's textbook once more. Question two. On average, how many taste buds is on a human tongue? I realize for the first time that the textbook Mr. Gallagher is using isn't from our syllabus at all. It's one of Felix's other textbooks. The kind he reads for... Huh, for fun. Felix must know Mr. Gallagher's questions aren't relevant to our class at all. Yet, he's not correcting him. Likely in part because the last time he questioned Mr. Gallagher didn't exactly go well. And likely, too, because he knows he has an advantage over the rest of us. This little gay may be flawed, but that doesn't mean I can't still come out on top. Yes, it, yes it does, because I, I don't like science. I've never liked science. I've never liked any of this stuff. There's no way I know on average how many taste buds are on the human tongue. And I'm, an, I'm a legit human. That just made me sound sus like I wasn't. God. Ugh. Now, on average, how many taste buds are on a human tongue? in the tens of thousands, right? All I know is like your taste buds change like every seven years or something. That's the only thing I know about taste buds. How big is the tongue? I'm not cheating. We're not doing that. I'm not peeking at anybody's answers. 
I it, I don't think it's I it's either the thousands or the ten thousands. Go big or go home, right? Right? Go go big or go home. Once everyone's written down their answers, Mr. Gallagher approaches Felix. Two thousand to eight. Two thousand to eight thousand is an acceptable answer. Thank you, sir. Cat's written down forty thousand with a question mark at the end. Not confident with your answer, Kathleen. It's cat, sir, and I'm afraid not. I thought it was four thousand at first, but then I thought maybe I need an extra zero. Maybe I don't. Who knows? I do. 4,000 would have been acceptable, as Felix has proven. Sadly, your indecision has cost you. Damn, I don't get a point. That's disappointing. Kat doesn't look disappointed at all. If anything, she looks like she's enjoying herself. I gather she knows she has no shot at beating Felix. She winks at me as Mr. Gallagher turns to my answer. I, if it was maybe any other subject, is, why did it have to be science, bro? I'm afraid that is incorrect. I know! I know! <laughs> Darn. <laughs> you really think we have that many taste buds? What are you, an alien? <laughs> Enoch. Oh, 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 um, no, this was calculated. Cause I, um, huh, huh, surprise, I totally put down the biggest number just in case um, Enoch put down a silly answer and then I could use my answer as support for uh, his answer. That is why I did it. I calculated, uh, looking out for my alien roommates. Yep. I just need to know if other people knew this information and I'm just stupid. The A word sends such a jolt of fear through me that I can't even think of a good comeback. No, calling you an alien would be a disservice to aliens everywhere. You're just a moron. Hey! Uh, um, don't talk to about Reaper like that. All right, settle down. I'm sure it was a simple mistake on Reaper's part. I... <laughs> Mr. Gallagher turns to Enoch now. Sorry, I didn't know the answer. <laughs> and this drawing of a tongue helped you. How? I thought visualizing a tongue might help me come up to the right answer. Clearly it did not. That did not. That, that was a question. That was a very questionable picture, Enoch. Felix scoffs beside me. Does your roommate know he's in high school, not a kindergarten art class? Lay off him. If he doesn't know the answer, what else can he do? Make an educated guess instead of using the whiteboard as his personal canvas? Why don't you worry about your own answers instead of focusing on his? What's there to worry about? This quiz is a piece of cake. I haven't failed yet, have I? I hate that I can't dispute that. Let's end this quiz with one final question, shall we? He flips through Felix's textbook one last time. His smile widens as he finds whatever he's looking for. Final question. How many suckers is on an octopus's arm? <laughs> <laughs> suckers. Um, sorry. What are the chances I have this pointless bit of trivia or excuse me, what are the chances I have this pointless bit of trivia stored somewhere inside my brain? None. None, Game Reaper. 
because IRL Reaper does not have that information. I do have this information now. Like, going into the future, I will have this useless bit of information for, you know, when I go to parties again at some point. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'll never go to a party again. <laughs> but I will have it, because now I do not. 260, 280, 2080, 2240. Pika Felix's answer, Pika Cat's answer, Pika Enoch's. I know I just said 2080, 2240, but that just makes sense in my head. How many suckers on, on a. S I didn't think there was that many. I don't think it's in the thousands. I think it's 260 or 280. I'm going this one. What? How big is an octopus? How big are the sucker? I'm so, I'm so confused. Mr. Gallagher approaches the board and scrutinizes Felix's answer of 2,240. Hmm. I'm afraid that isn't right. I do, okay, I'm sorry. I like Felix, but I do also get a little bit competitive. What? Felix looks faint. That's not possible. I, I, I got it wrong? Oy vey. This is awesome. He looks like he's about to cry. <laughs> I mean, it's just one question. Did you forget who we're talking about here? Getting even one question wrong is like a death sentence to Felix. This... This can't be. Well, it is. Accept it and move on. But... But... Miss, but Mr. Gallagher is already moving past him. But... But I... Kathleen! Let us see what brilliant answer you'll give this time. It's cat, sir. Mr. Gallagher ignores her for the third straight time. That's just rude. I hate when people actually do that IRL. If someone tells you like their preferred name, use it. Like that's just like, that's like the lowest bar of common decency. Your answer is close, but it's no cigar. Good try, Kathleen. And now Reaper, I'm zero for three, okay? I, I, I know, it's, it's, it's wrong, it's fine, I know. He studies my answer. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. I, I can't. I apps I cannot I everything everything about me being an educator is now questioned I don't teach science thankfully but still dang last but certainly not least let's see what our resident artist has drawn us Oh. Uh, at least I didn't draw anything, right? No way. Felix is staring at Enoch's answer of 280, looking flabbergasted. I was so close! Never mind, now I'm just mad because I was so close. But now I know it's 280. Someone ask me that in the future. How many suckers are there on an octopus? 280, I will remember this. Uh, Felix is staring at Enoch's answer of 280, looking flabbergasted. Is, is that the right answer? Indeed it is. How interesting. Before I can ponder the now unmistakable triumph in Mr. Gallagher's eyes, Felix's voice cries out yet again in anguish. Ha! 
How? How is that possible? Way to go, Big E. I've never seen Metal Mouth this upset before. How did I get a question wrong that your imbecile of a roommate got right? Guess you're not as smart as you thought. You didn't get it either, hot shot. Yeah, but I'm not throwing a tantrum over it. Grow up. Okay, but seriously, how did you get the right answer? Uh, lucky guess? I think this marks the end of our popped quiz. With the most correct answers, congratulations goes to... Felix. You have the highest score with two correct answers, and so you win a prize. Thank you, sir. Although it should be said, having the knowledge itself is prize at- Oh my god. Teacher's pet. You've got to be kidding me. Do you want the prize or not? Yes, please. I'll bring your prize to school tomorrow, then. Tomorrow? Won't Miss Fortune be back by then? I'm afraid Miss Fortune's illness is quite serious. So at least for the foreseeable future, I'm in charge. Felix looks even more troubled than before, but doesn't say anything. So... Class dismissed? S sir wait, wait. We were supposed to finalize partners for our class project today. Put me with Felix, put me with Felix, put me with Felix, please, 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 put me with Felix. Hmm? Oh, um, yes. I remember Miss Fortune mentioned something like that. Very well, give me a couple of minutes and I'll have you all partnered up. Oh, that's not necessary, sir. We've already chosen our partners. Have you now? Yeah. Well, seeing as I'm in charge, I have the final say. And I think I'll assign you partners myself. But, but, sir! No buts. Cat sits back down with a disappointed sigh. Heh, <laughs> no buts. So much for our vote. Ah, but we are gonna be partners! I mean, we still could be. Besides, we spend every day together anyway. It's not that big of a loss we, if we don't end up as partners. Yeah, but I wanted to work on this with you. It could have been fun. <sighs> Unless your name is Felix, school and fun don't go in the same sentence. There, that she was there a little bit there. Mr. Gallagher goes down the attendance list, seemingly plucking people at random and pairing them together on a whim. Kat is noticeably less sulky when she and Lucas are paired together. Well, what do you know? We're fated to be together anyway. No complaints here. In that case, maybe you and I can still work together, Reaper. It's then that Mr. Gallagher announces the final pair of students to be partnered up. I was hoping, but I wasn't sure. I was hoping and I thought so, but I wasn't sure. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Lastly, Felix and Reaper. Why? I'm going to be sick. Is there a problem? Y yeah, a, a big one. There's no way I'm working with him. I should be saying that. What are you so mad for? It. Ah, da, da, I, there's. I don't. I don't have feel, Felix. I don't have a voice for you, honey. I have it, and then it's gone, and then I have it, and then it's gone. Like I, I've given you like sixty voices at this point. I should be saying that. What are you so mad for anyway? Don't you know you're guaranteed to score if you work on a project with me? Like I'd want to score with you. You know that's not what I meant. You really think I need your help to pass with flying colors? Besides, even if I did, I'd honestly rather fail than have to work with you. That's just in-game Reaper. IRL Reaper's actually quite happy. Then fail. Just don't drag me down with you. As entertaining as this is, I fail to see a legitimate reason why you cannot work together. And before you ask, no. 
You're not allowed to work on your own. This is so unfair! I wanted to work with Enoch. No problem, sir. I'm torn! I want to be there for my cinnamon roll! But I want to work with Felix! I'm gonna be selfish. Enoch, I will protect you from this weirdo. But I really want to be with Felix, so... Please forgive me just this one time! No problem, sir! <gasps> I got a plus one! I'm making the right decisions! I can tell Mr. Gallagher's not budging. There's no point fighting it, and I don't want to give Felix the satisfaction of watching me struggle to escape him. I can't believe this is actually happening. I know, I can't believe this is actually happening. <laughs> <sighs> not a problem, sir. Felix? Of course not, sir. Even though I'm not pleased with the arrangement, I understand that this is your decision and I'm willing to accept it. Um, sir, I still don't have a partner. Oh, not to worry, dear boy, not to worry. I have plans for you. Did he have to say that so sinisterly? Since you're new, you don't need a partner because you don't need to do the project. To make up for your grade, you can help me instead. Help you, sir? I have various tasks you can help me with, as my official assistant. How does that sound? You want me as your assistant? Oh no, that's a terrible idea. I cringe, imagining all the possible ways Enoch could screw up assisting Mr. Gallagher and get into trouble. Just so you know, I wasn't asking you if you wanted to be my assistant. I was telling you. You are to be my assistant. This is not negotiable. In that case, I'm happy to help. Good. Class dismissed. Chatter fills the air as soon as Mr. Gallagher leaves. Felix mutters to himself as he walks over to me. What did I do to deserve this? Believe me, I'm not exactly thrilled myself. It was Miss Fortune's decision to let us choose our own partners. Why'd you let him toss that out the window? What did you want me to do, Reaper? What could I have done? Instead of rolling over with all the spineless brown nosing, you could have protested Mr. Gallagher's decision a little harder. What you call spineless, I call respectful. Besides, you saw how he shut me down earlier. He's taking control of the class, and that means his word is law now. For the record, no teacher's word is law. Just letting this as, as a teacher, no teacher's word is law. Unless it's something that, you know, actually is the law, and they're trying to make sure you don't get in trouble. He's still our teacher, substitute or not. And I'm not disrespecting a teacher, especially one handpicked by misfortune to take over. Sounds like a bunch of excuses to me. If it means so much to you, you could have protested too. You rolled over just as easily as I did. But in my defense, it's for very different reasons that I don't feel like telling you just yet. I don't know how you really feel about me yet. Look. Obviously, this isn't ideal for either of us, but there's nothing to be done about it now. You can whine and complain all you want, but like it or not, we're stuck with each other. So let's just get this over with as painlessly as possible. Deal? <sighs> Fine. Fine. I really hope you don't screw this up for me. Speak for yourself! What's there to speak for? You know my boasts aren't empty words? 
I can get us both a great score as long as you don't tank this project. I want to retort, but damn it, he's not wrong. Don't forget, I'm just as good as you are. You don't need to micromanage me like you did Cat. I can pull my own weight. Wrong. Wrong what? You're almost as good as I am. But I'm still the best in class, so don't you forget it. How can I? You rub it in my face every chance you get! I'll hold you to what you said, though. You better keep up with me. I keep to a strict schedule, and I never miss a deadline. I'll be damned if I start now because of you. All this is my way of saying... Don't slow me down. I just remember seeing him, and I'm... Yes, him. Like, being out and partying with the girl that, like, talked to us at the movies. And I'm like... How strict is your schedule, bro? There's so much to unpack with you. I won't slow you down. You'll have to keep up with me. Don't be a jerk. You know what? You're, you're gonna have to keep up with me this time, honey. You'll have to keep up with me. If anything, you'll have to keep up with me. I got two points! Yeah, buddy! <gasps> oh god, this is, this is the best day, best day ever. Can't read, save my life. I haven't gotten any of the science questions right. Everyone's voices are messed up, but this is the best day ever because I have gotten so many points with Felix. Mm. As cocky as ever, I see. Look who's talking! Fair enough. We'll see who needs to keep up with who in due time. Though I have to admit, you're not terrible as a student, I suppose. You suppose? You're not as lazy as Kat, at least. And I'd hope your grammar is better than hers, though that isn't saying much. Hey, I heard that! I wasn't trying to whisper. Anyway, we should talk more after school to discuss. Are you doing anything tonight? Why, you asking me out? Please say yes, please say yes. You wish. I do, actually! Is the whole point! It's the whole, it's the whole point actually although in a way I guess I am I like to meet face to face so we can figure out how we're going to do this thing can we just do it from our homes just hit me up on room or something I don't like using chat apps why not I just don't it's easier to get distracted from your work when people can't see what you're doing you could be messaging other friends watching something on BooTube I'd have no way of knowing if you were working or slacking off. Paranoid much? Where do you think I get it from? Last time I worked with someone over a chat app, they wrote one sentence for every three paragraphs I contributed. And that sentence would be riddled with typos. I heard that too! Still wasn't whispering. Look, can we just meet in person? It would make life so much easier. Fine, whatever. I can't be bothered to argue with you. When do you want to meet? Cozy Crepe Cafe! Always! Let's meet at Cozy Crepe Cafe, 8 p.m. That works, right? Since you live nearby. And how do you know that? I told you the other day. I know your address. Creep. Shut up! I stare at Felix's back as he returns to his desk. He did have a point. Like it or not, we're stuck together. Might as well make the best of it. He is a helpful partner to have. Helpful. He is a helpful partner to have. It's just the nitpicking and micromanaging that'll be a nightmare to handle. If cat's horror stories are anything to go off of. Dude! Ah, her voice. Frick, frack, patty whack. Dude, I can't believe you got lumped together with Metal Mouth. Will you be okay, Reaper? You and Felix uh, aren't fond of each other, are you? That's an understatement. 
of all the people to pair you up with, it just had to be him. I'm torn between feeling sorry for you and finding this hilariously poetic. Gee, thanks! Anyone want to place bets on who'll snap and kill the other person first? K kill Oh, it won't be me. I have better self-control. I could totally break him first. Y you want him to kill you? Why are you being so cavalier about murder? How do you know the word cavalier? <laughs> Dude, it's a joke. You have no you have no idea. How many times I've had to explain to him when I'm joking about something? Hmm. Well, I'm sorry I don't understand your weird senses of humor. How are jokes about murder meant to be funny? Um, anyway... You know what I think? I think Metal Mouth's secretly glad that Mr. Gallagher's assigned his partners. Are you forgetting that we hate each other? Why would he be glad to be stuck with me? Well, maybe not that part so much. But I think he's just glad he got a partner instead of having to choose one himself. After all, he was the only one without a partner. He'd be stuck working alone. Wouldn't he have preferred that anyway? Sure, but still. It must be sh It must sting to know you're the only person in class who can't get a partner, even despite your reputation for getting good grades. I wonder if Kat's onto something. Is Felix secretly grateful about Mr. Gallagher's decision? We got P.E.? <gasps> we got gym? Gym class. The one lesson in school that Felix Yang, Yang doesn't have an affinity with. It's worth noting that it, it hasn't dimmed his desire to beat me at it in the slightest. If anybody watches the Owl House season one, I think it was, when Amity was doing grudge ball and like, you know, with Luce and um, Willow and like Luce picks her up and she's just like, huh, wow, sports. That's me right now. Oh, wow, sports. <laughs> oh, Kat, why aren't you in an outfit? Wait, what? Wait, why aren't you in j Is this just the guys today? Is everyone here? Yes, ma'am. Felix has wisely removed his glasses so they don't shatter when he inevitably takes a ball to the face. Not that I'll aim for his face or anything. Much as I can't stand the guy, I'm not that mean. He's just such a mess on the court that it's more of a challenge to not hit him. I see we have a new student today. Coach Ferguson is an athletic older woman, folds her arms and studies Enoch warily. What's your name, son? I can't think of a voice for her. Apologies. Hi, I'm Enoch. He just transferred here, ma'am. Really? Where from? I hate that that's the first question people ask him. Are you staying on permanently? Uh, who knows? Anyway, today we're playing dodgeball! Dodgeball! Dodgeball's the best game ever, yes! She eyes Enoch. You know how to play dodgeball, right? I'm assuming it involves dodging balls? Good enough, let's begin! Reaper, your team leader won! Yes! I'm never- oh god. One, I was never leader, and I was also never picked I was never picked first. Felix, team leader two! I wouldn't have it any other way. Split yourself up into teams. Reaper, you get first pick. Gee, no pressure. Better not screw this up. Okay, Cat. Cat's one of the best at sports, if not the best in class. And she's no doubt, and she no doubt shares my desire to crush Felix's spirit by beating him at anything given the opportunity. Lucas is all right, but the main sport he excels in is basketball. Ah. He is a smaller target though. Most people overlook him during dodgeball in favor of bigger, more conspicuous targets. And Enoch. Oh, Enoch. So innocent and happy. He just wants to enjoy his first ever game of dodgeball. Enoch's never played any earthling sport before. He's no idea the, the kind of bloodthirsty chaos that's about to ensue. 
A terrifying thought occurs to me. What if he takes a ball to the face and drops his disguise? Can that happen? Surely not, right? Surely even a guy as daft as Enoch would warn me if such a thing could happen. Right? Pick Cat, pick Lucas, pick Enoch. Cat, I, I want to win. I pick Cat. As you should. Ugh, can't argue with that. In that case, I pick Raphael. Raphael, one of the stockier boys in class, shambles over to Felix's side. Reaper, your next pick. Lucas first or Enoch? I don't think Felix would rush to snatch either of them up, so it's probably just a matter of who I want to secure on my team first. I'm being so mean to Enoch, but I forgot about the movie with Lucas, and I said I was going to try to make it up to him today. Lucas, let's go, buddy. I pick Lucas. Cool. Oh, Reaper, Reaper, Reaper. Showing favoritism will get you nowhere, you know. I'm not showing favoritism. I want Lucas on my team. Yeah, because he's your best friend. I know you're salty that no one can say that about you, but no need to lash out. Look at the smirk on Lucas's face. I love it. Oh, God. Once it's my turn to choose again, I pick Enoch, since it's clear Felix wants nothing to do with him. And I don't want Enoch to be the last picked for either team. Once all is said and done, our teams are chosen and ready to go. Teams on opposite ends of the court, break a leg out there. She blows her whistle and the class disperses. But break a leg? We have to break our legs doing this? What, why are we playing such a dangerous game? Reaper! I do my best to soothe Enoch under the weight of everyone's bewildered stares. There, there, Enoch. It's okay. No one's breaking any legs, alright? I don't know. He cer- I don't know. He certainly seems stupid enough to trip over his own feet and make it happen. Hit him in the face! I'm still romancing you, but that was mean. Mean towards my cinnamon roll. Why don't you be mindful of your own legs, Metal Mouth? Yeah, if anyone's liable to trip and fall, wouldn't it be the guy who barely passed gym class to begin with? Oh! I did not barely pass. I passed. Period. There wasn't anything bare about it. It was still a passing grade. A passing grade is a passing grade. I got nothing. I really, I'm not gonna lie, I really get in my head sometimes with being able to do their voices and not being able to do their voices and I'm getting in my head right now not gonna lie of course that was the only part of that insult to actually offend you we're so predictable Kat and I snicker as Felix scowls and turns away even Lucas cracks a small smile team two follow me Felix leads his team to the other side of the court team one follow me Truly the voice of, truly the voice and confidence of a natural leader. Would you rather be on Metal Mouse team? Oh, you know I jest. Um, I know I said I understand how dodgeball works, but is it really as simple as dodging balls? Heh, <laughs> balls. Really, cat? Oh, well, there are some extra rules here and there. I catch sight of Coach Ferguson with whistle in mouth, ready to signal the start of the round. You can always ask Coach for a super quick rundown. You want her to run me down? Why? Oh, come on. How do you how do you not know that word? I raise my hand to catch the coach's attention. What is a Reaper? We're about to start. Um, could you give Enoch a quick rundown of the rules? Rules? It's simple. Hit each other with your balls. Writing in this game is just beautiful. Just beautiful. Get hit, you're out. Someone catch your ball, you're out. And no crossing the line in the middle of the court. See, 
Simple. W wait, you said it too fast. You asked for a quick rundown. No, don't rip me down. L let me get a pen. I need to write this down so I don't. Both teams ready. On my mark. Wait, uh, don't get hit. Don't cross the ball. Don't catch the <laughs> Wait, that doesn't even make sense. Uh, get set. Reaper. This will be fun. At the sound of the coach's whistle, people on both teams begin charging towards the center of the court. I spot Felix hanging back behind a large, his larger teammates, eyeing me warily. Meanwhile, on my side of the court, don't just stand there, team leader. Let's go kick Metal Mouse's butt. You know we want to beat him as much as you do. Well, as much as you do. It's a bit of a stretch, personally. But yeah, we got your back, Reaper. Wh what do we do now? What do I do? Enoch, uh, just stay out of the way and try not to get hit. I race towards the center of the court, but all the balls have been snatched up and both teams are now taking shots at each other. I see Cat with ball in hand going after none other than team leader Felix himself. She sends the ball flying towards him, but he weaves out of its path in the nick of time. Attack her! She's our best player! A couple of his teammates take aim at Cat. She dodges left and right, avoiding balls as they whiz past her. I love the movement of the pictures. I love that for dodgeballs. Yes, this is beautiful. But in her haste, she doesn't see Felix scooping up a nearby ball and taking aim. On the far side of the court, I watch as the teammates in front of Lucas get taken out one after the other. Every time he hides behind someone, they get taken out shortly after, leaving him in search of another human shield. One of Felix's teammates approaches him, ball in hand, ready to hurl it at a now defenseless Lucas. I scour the court for Enoch. I'm surprised he's even still in the game. Like a homing missile locked on a target, Raphael lumbers over, eyes fixated on Enoch. I'm gonna have to save one of them. I'm saving Kat. Um, hello. Raphael raises the ball in his hands, the muscles in his biceps tensing as he prepares to attack Enoch. P please don't. I don't even know how to play. I'm no threat. I don't have much time. I need to make a decision. We're saving Kat. I, I, we're saving Kat because I need her because she's the best player. And I cannot give Felix the satisfaction of getting Kat out. I'm sorry. A ball rolls to a stop near my feet. I pick it up and run over to help Kat. Sorry. I take aim and launch my ball at my target. It sails through the air and knocks Felix's ball away just seconds before it can hit Kat. Whoa! Cheers, Reaper! And I got a point! Best day ever! Best day ever! Can't believe the little bastard almost got a hit on me! Even Metal Mouth gets a lucky shot every now and then. Well, not anymore! Let's take him out, Reaper! You and me together, once and for all! I mean, it's just a game of dodgeball! Make it sound like we're about to vanquish him in a boss fight or something. Hey, this is a boss fight. If I've. Ah, no. Hey, this is a boss fight if I've ever seen one. I stop to survey the court. Dread washes over me as I do a quick head count of the remaining players. Cat's still in the game, but the rest of my team was eliminated while I defended her. I spot Lucas and Enoch among the eliminated players, the latter looking particularly dejected at being out so early. Against all odds, Felix is still in the game, and so is Raphael. Damn it! Feeling the pressure, Reaper? Cat sidles up to join me. What now? Don't lose hope. We're up against Metal Mouth for crying out loud. When does he ever want anything sports related? Have faith. We can still win this, because I have a plan. There's two of us, and two of them. If we split up and take on one person each, we could take them both out. Or, we could join forces and focus our efforts on one player first, and then leave the second for later. What's the best course of action? Team up and target one. I'm not, yeah, I'll at least get two. I'll at least get one person out. Yep, team up and target one. Here's the plan. We gang up on a single, single player and take them out first. Once they're gone, we deal with whoever's left. 
Gotcha. Who do we go after? Felix Raphael. Again, pros and cons in my head. But Felix, because he went after Cat first. Let's go. If we take Metal Mouth out, he can't lead the rest of his team. And more to the point, I'll never live it down if he outlasts me in a game of dodgeball. So, <laughs> you had me at take Metal Mouth out. With that settled, we prepare to put our plan in action. Finish talking, ladies. Oh, it's gonna feel so good wiping that insufferable smirk off your face. We pick up a couple balls off the floor as the other team readies theirs. Let's do this. We run at Felix. Alarm flashes across his face when he sees us charging at him, balls at the ready. Take this! She raises her ball in preparation to flow. Flow? <laughs> in preparation to throw, Felix braces himself, ready to catch it. But Cat faints and swings her arm down without actually letting go of the ball. Felix flinches expectantly, and that brief hesitation is just enough for me to hurl my ball at his face and knock him off his feet. I went for a headshot, bro. Nice one! Ah. Right in the middle of celebrating, a ball flies out of nowhere and slams into Cat's, well, into Cat's chest area. Hey, you couldn't let me celebrate for more than two seconds? Rude. Raphael, who'd thrown the ball, simply shrugs as Cat trudges off the court. I scramble to grab the ball Raphael threw as he picks up another of his own. Raphael's almost as good as Cat is, if not better. He won't be easy to beat. Why didn't Why didn't you tell me that before? I would have aimed for him. He stares back at me, his face stony and unreadable. Should I wait for his move or attack first? Wait, because I have a ball and I can deflect with the ball. I brace for impact, ready to bat Raphael's ball aside if and when it comes my way. Raphael moves slowly from side to side. He's surprisingly patient, waiting for my move just as I'm waiting for his. When I finally do decide that I should just attack him instead of waiting, he attacks. He hurls his ball at me and given his brute strength, the sight of the ball tearing down the court towards me is nothing short of terrifying. I instinctively raise my hands to protect my face only to feel Raphael's ball smack into my belly, belly winding me. Frick! Oh, Team two wins! Crap! Good game, everyone. Class dismissed. A single game? A single game? She blows her whistle one last time as everyone prepares to leave. Felix is still buzzing with excitement over his victory. I can't believe it. whoop de doo No need to act like you just won an Oscar or something. Actually, scratch that. Oscar winners would never behave with as little humility as you do. Talk smack all you want, Reaper. Doesn't change the fact that I finally beat you in an actual sports game. You're never living this down. You didn't beat me, though. Raphael did. Just gonna put that in there, buddy. From now on, I'm bringing this up anytime you insinuate I'm bad at sports. It was one game. This doesn't make you an Olympian. Besides, it's a team sport. All you did was pick the better team. Oh, that was a little mean. I picked a really good team. If it was one-on-one, -on -one, I would have crushed you. Hey, where are you going? Metal Mouth! Metal Mouth! Oh, alas, Felix is gone. That was hard to watch. Another thought occurs to me that pulls a fresh groan from my lips. He is so gonna brag about this again when we meet up tonight. I can't believe I'm actually dreading going to cozy crepes and it's all his fault. Did somebody say crepes? Down boy, I'm not taking you with me. Where have you been? Oh, I want to congratulate Felix on a good game. Ew, why? Yeah, the last thing that guy needs is more of an excuse to think he just became the best athlete in school. Try not to be so upset, Reaper. Sure, he won one time. It's not the end of the world. It's just killing me that I'll have to endure an entire night of him bragging about this. You do realize his boasting won't be limited to just tonight, right? Thanks. 
Lucas is right. You're gonna hear him talk about the time he beat you at dodgeball for the rest of his life. With any luck, it'll be a short one. Oof, that's harsh, even for you. Sorry, I'm a little salty. Hey, it's fine. It's not like that salt is unearned. Metal Mouth is insufferable, even at the best of times. Beating him in gym class used to be one of the only ways we could knock him down a peg. Take comfort in the knowledge that his win realistically had nothing to do with him. It's not like he's been working out or anything. Like you said, he just picked the better team. That's still something. I should have picked a better team than his. Is it really that big of a deal that Felix won? To him, yes. It sounds like a big deal to you too. You can't stop talking about it. I... Only because it's such a big deal to him. So it's a big deal for you because it's a big deal for him too? He's got your number there, Reaper. I do? Wait, what number? Maybe if you act like it doesn't bother you, Metal Mouth won't be able to, to make such a fuss about it in the future. Ignore him and you take away his power, you know? It'll be hard to ignore it when it's all he's going to be talking about. For all you know, once you start discussing your project tonight, he'll go into work mode and forget all about today. I can only hope. Even if you lost, that doesn't mean the game wasn't fun, right? I mean, I didn't hate it or anything. Gym class is always a nice break from the mon monotony of school. I actually hated gym. Fun fact, I hated PE class. I, I, it was not fun for me. You had fun then? Of course I did! If I only find joy in winning everything, I'd be miserable. But if I learn to find joy in losing too, then I'll always have fun no matter what. Aw, that's a really positive way of thinking. Probably lost on these two though, given how competitive they are. I can't help but feel a little awkward about getting life advice from an alien. At the end of the day, win or lose, I'm just glad I got to play with an actual... I'm just glad I got to play an actual human sports game with actual... Uh, I mean... But the damage is done. Human sports game? That's a weird distinction. Aren't all sports games played with humans? Uh, I meant... <laughs> no, silly, that, that was just a mistranslation. Enoch's used to speaking in his native language and he clearly just mixed up the word human with... I stare at him for a few seconds. Friends. It's gonna be friends. With some other word. I exactly. Anyway, let's get changed and go eat. I want to drown my sorrow in food. Pushing Kat and Lucas from behind, I steer them towards the locker room, glaring at Enoch behind their backs. Once they're out of earshot, I smack Enoch in the arm. Ow! Come on, Enoch. How many times do I have to tell you? I know, I know, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. It doesn't matter. I can't keep covering for you like this. By the fifth time, they're gonna get suspicious if they haven't already. Please, 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 promise you'll stop saying things like that. You need to get a handle on that mouth of yours. Okay, okay, I promise. About 10 minutes later, I'm still waiting for Enoch outside the locker room. Kat and Lucas have gone on ahead to the cafeteria, but Enoch hasn't come out yet. Bored, I lean against the wall, scrolling through my litter timeline on my phone. <laughs> it really is trash, though. To be fair, I love it. It's trash. Uh, Reaper? Enoch's voice calls out to me from inside the locker room. You done, Enoch? Um, not exactly. I, um, I think we might have a small problem. What's wrong? First things first... Are we alone? I look around the empty gym. Yeah? Why? Good, because... Take a look. Oh no! E Enoch, what are you doing? You, you can't be at school looking like that! You think I don't know that? Then change back! Change back at once! I can't! 
I don't know why, but it's not working. It's the teacher. Mr. Gallagher's done something. What do you mean it's not working? How can it not be working? You said it's always been working, Enoch. Why isn't it working? I don't know, Reaper. No, 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 no. This is bad. This is very, very bad. If someone sees Enoch looking like this, like, like this, turn back. Turn back now. I'm trying, Reaper. Try harder. It's not working. Oh, this can't be happening. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. First says the H word in front of Kat and Lucas, and now this? This is exactly what I was afraid of. This is why I didn't want him to come to school. I don't know what's wrong, but I can't change back. Shh, I hear footsteps. Hide now. Enoch ducks back into the locker room with only seconds to spare as a familiar, annoying face comes around the corner. Reaper, what are you still doing here? N nothing that doesn't sound like nothing. It's not a rule to not hang around the locker room after gym, is it? Not that I would care even if it was. Not that anyone would care, really. The only one who would care is a stickler for the rules like you. Yeah, smooth, Reaper. Okay. Still doesn't explain what you're doing here. Shouldn't you be with those obnoxious friends of yours? I don't need to explain myself to you. Maybe I just like standing here. Did you ever think of that? Everyone else has left, Reaper. Do you have any explanation for why you're standing furtively by the entrance to the locker room like you're guarding it? Or have you just completely lost your mind? Why do you care so much about what I'm doing? Why has it got to be a big deal? I'm panicking. I mean, you're here too, aren't you? Maybe I should ask why you're here. What are you doing here, Metal Mouth? What? Don't turn the tables on me. That's That went to you not. But don't turn the tables on me. I came back because I saw you hadn't left, and I assumed, like always, that you were up to no good. Up to no good? What am I, a supervillain from the 80s? I'm sorry I don't worship the school rule book like it's the Bible or follow the teachers around like a puppy dog desperate for their approval. That doesn't mean I'm up to no good. You used, you've used that puppy dog insult a dozen times. If you're gonna insult me, at least come up with some new material to spice up our dynamic. You said it, not me. You can't seriously be suggesting I'm worse at doling out insults. Have you heard yourself? We've been feuding for over a year and you still haven't thought up a good nickname for me. Metal Mouth. I'm tired of this. He turns to leave and I can't help but breathe a sigh of relief. His shoulders tense when he hears it and he turns back to face me. You are guarding something, aren't you? What? Nah. -uh. Uh-huh. I heard that stutter. How can you hear anything with that head so far up your own? Move out of the way. No. What are you hiding back there? Nothing. Just move. I'm not moving. Your friends aren't back there vandalizing the place, are they? Why on earth would we? I said move. What if I don't? You gonna make me? Maybe I will. <laughs> don't make me laugh. You don't have the strength to move a twig, you twig. Felix tries to brush past me, but I'm faster and shoot an arm out to catch him. I end up jabbing him in the neck by mistake and he chokes, stumbling backwards. Oh, okay, I feel bad about that. You- <coughs> What the hell? Uh, are, are you alright? My bad. What was that for? Uh, sorry, but you shouldn't have tried to run past me. Hey! We both jump at Coach Ferguson's loud, booming voice echoes throughout the room. She marches down the length of the gym, striding towards us with purpose. What are you two hanging around here for? Everyone else left ages ago. I'm not interrupting a secret makeout session, am I? Because I always suspected you two had something going on. For what? <laughs> Fun fact, teachers do in fact ship students together. Just letting you know that teachers do in fact ship students. Do with that info as you will. What? Oh, gross. No. 
Hey, that's my line. And what do you mean gross? Before he can say anything else, Felix jumps in. Reaver's being weird, coach. She never left the gym, so I came back to find her in front of the locker room and she won't let me enter. She's hiding something back there. Tattletale. What's in the locker room, Reaper? Lockers, ma'am? Step aside. But... Reaper. Coach places a gentle but firm hand on my shoulder and guides me out of the way. I gulp, trying to calm my nerves as she steps into the locker room. She hasn't gone more than a couple feet before she stops and turns back around. I can't go in there. What? Why not? I'm a woman? It's the boys' locker room? But, but ma'am, you're a teacher. Felix, you go in. Tell me what you see. I, okay, ma'am. Now it's Felix who heads inside. I hold my breath, hoping and praying that Edoc's either hiding in a stall or transformed back into a human. What the hell? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 it's over. The whole world's about to find out aliens exist. They're gonna take Enoch away, do unspeakable things to him, all in the name of science, and then they'll... Uh, uh, hi, Felix! I was actually really concerned. I was actually quite worried. Oh God, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my God. H Hello to you too, coach. You're the new kid, right? What are you doing hiding back there? I wasn't hiding, I was changing. Literally. What? Then why didn't you say anything while me and Reaper were out here arguing? You guys were arguing? What else could we have been doing? I don't know. You do snap at each other all the time. It just sounded like normal conversation. Well, why didn't you come out or say anything when I asked Reaper why she was standing outside the locker room? I wasn't sure what to say. I was busy getting dressed. For that long? Ma'am, something's not right about this. He was way too quiet in there for way too long. I propose a proper search of the locker room in case he was hiding something in there. Oh, for the love of, what could we possibly have been hiding in there and for what purpose? I don't know, something shady, like like stolen exam papers or something. That's really the shadiest stuff you can imagine. Not drugs or cigarettes or poker cards. Us cheating on an exam is your worst case scenario. What, what about it? Cheating is bad, okay? Oh, brother. It is. When you cheat, you dishonor the efforts of every student who worked hard to get the same grade you did. Academic dishonesty is a serious offense. Isn't that right, coach? Coach? Why are you asking me? I'm just the gym teacher. Respect. But, but you're still a teacher. Shouldn't come as a surprise that Coach Ferguson is Felix's least favorite teacher. Anyway, if we're done here, I think Enoch and I should join our friends for lunch. Coach? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, go ahead. Next time, don't loiter around after class. I don't want any more suspicion placed on you two for doing something you're not. Got that? Yes, ma'am. She dismisses us with a casual wave, leaving Felix stewing. I still don't trust this. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Talk to them, buddy. We're leaving. As Enoch and I walk away, Felix heads back into the locker room, evidently deciding to investigate Enoch's activities anyway. That was a close one, huh? Tell me about it. How'd you change back? It just worked again after a while. And not a moment too soon because Felix came in only a few seconds after I transformed. I think I was probably tired after the game and that's why it didn't work the first time. I'm sorry, Reaper. What are you apologizing for? For almost blowing our cover? I know it'd cause you a lot of trouble if people found out you have an alien roommate. That's not the part I was worried about. I was worried about you, Enoch. Me? Yes. I've been scared of you being discovered ever since you came into my life. I don't want to think about what people might do to you if they knew the truth. We got lucky this time. 
but there's no telling if and when it malfunctions again. You suddenly turning purple in the middle of class won't be easy to explain. We can always say it's a skin allergy. Enoch, no allergy turns your entire body purple in the blink of an eye. Tonight, practice at home. Just keep switching back and forth until you're sure you can fully control it. Okay. And I'll be careful. I promise. Good. Now, let's eat. I'm starving. Let's go! That was... That was too close. And now I'm sad. You have reached the end of the demo. I plan to release an extended demo which reaches the end of chapter one in the near future in preparation for a Kickstarter launch sometime in 2022. It's 2022. There's gonna be a Kickstarter. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna support that shit. Until then, please let me know your thoughts about the game by leaving a comment on Ichio, I still don't know how to freaking say that site, or reaching out to me on social media. Thanks for playing. For one, um, Wholesome Wraith is very, very active on Twitter. And uh, when I posted part three, like within a day, because time zones are a thing, they watched it and had commented. Um, so I double down on the, they are very active on social media. And like, if you want to say anything about the game, they are there. Let's go over here. Oh my God. I'm actually, I'm not crying, you're crying. I'm actually really sad because that's it. Of the demo, of the demo. And I was actually thinking in the last couple of minutes, I was like, I need to go away and really hammer in um, Felix's voice, Kat's voice, and uh, Lucas's voice. Cause I was like, okay, I'm definitely finishing at PE. And I was like, oh, maybe the, maybe we'll do like the study portion as well. Um, I, I don't know. I just thought there was like another segment. I was like, okay, maybe I'll do a fifth video. It's fine. Or, you know, um, so for it to come up of like, that's the end of the demo. By the time, by the time the game comes out for real, I might completely change their voices. Um, hopefully get a little better at voice acting so that does happen and I'm not hurting myself in the process. But uh, it was so good. It was so good. We have a sus AF teacher. Enoch almost got caught. Although, to be honest, I wouldn't be mad if, like, the, the group of three, uh, Kat... Lucas and Felix found out about Enoch um, like if that was part of the plot because I think that would be really interesting especially if you're like Kat being interesting because if she finds out because like she's just the friend and it she she would honestly just be like oh my god that just makes sense now okay so now we all take care of the cinnamon roll right I'll, I'll take care of my PE no worries Nothing is hitting you. Like, I just feel like she would kind of be in the same as the MC. Um, Lucas might actually be chill about it as well in the sense of that's why you're so annoying. You have no idea how, like, you know, humans act kind of thing. And then if you're romancing Lucas, like, or if you miss things with Lucas, it kind of makes sense of, ah because you were dealing with an alien kind of like situation. And then Felix finding out, I don't know. I just feel like there could be a really fun dynamic there. Um, yeah, especially, especially if they find out once you're kind of in the romance, like you're in that middle portion of romancing a character. If they find out then, then it's kind of that that extra oomph for the development there, in a sense. Any, I, I'm, I have it on my screen, and I just... My heart hurts. 
because it's going to be a while till we see them again no rush to the developers we don't do that here we do not rush i can be sad and still be patient okay i'm sad but patient um but i think that just goes to show how much i love these characters how the script is written so well to give them so much and yeah but with that, you guys, that is the end of my alien roommate, the demo. As they were saying in the end there, there will be a Kickstarter in 2022. We're not rushing the dev. But when that information becomes available, I will be sharing it on my social media. I'll probably be updating the videos with this, um, with that info so that we can show Wholesome Wraith the support that they deserve, the support that any, honestly, indie dev deserves. And we'll see our lovable cast next time we see them. And with that, everyone, I hope you have a great day, night, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>